Hi there, Ryan here from your Oxygen Forensic Training Team, and in this video is going to be a walkthrough of how to use our iOS agent. From Device Extractor, you're going to select our Methods option, and under there is going to be our iOS agent icon. Here we see some updates available, and we're going to select this option. In this screen, we see our supported devices, as well as some additional instructions for us for this particular extraction. This is going to be to install our iOS agent, you will be required to sign into a free Apple account or an Apple developer program in order to sign the application. Make sure that you're using these links here for iCloud and iTunes to download the latest version of each. And ensure you follow and understand the iOS agent method instructions as you're doing this extraction as well. Path that extraction to the appropriate location. And we're going to select that iOS agent extraction. Once the device is plugged in, it's going to auto detect. And now displayed here is going to be all the information about that particular device. The device type, the iOS version, the serial number, and some additional information specifically saying file system without keychain data is available for extraction. Only files without root permission are available. So now we see on the left hand side of the screen, I'm going to be mirroring here what I'm doing on the device as well as what's going on with the extractor itself. So once we start this extraction, we're going to have a couple more steps to go through and do. Now that I've selected Begin Extraction, we're going to be prompted with additional steps into signing for the iOS agent. And all this is going to depend based off of whether you're using a free account or a developer account. I'm going to input my credentials here and select our login option. Then it's going to authenticate with me using that iCloud in the background. That's why we need iCloud available to us on the system that you're making this extraction on. Once our credentials have been validated, we're going to get that familiar green check next to signing iOS agent, and then we're going to move to the next step for installing the iOS agent. Once the install is complete, and if you're on the home screen of your device, it's going to automatically defer you to that page or window on the device where that application has been installed on. Kind of helps so you don't have to uh, search around for it. Now it's saying, please launch the iOS agent on the device to continue. If a free account is being used, you need to make sure that you're connected to the internet in order to accomplish this extraction. So as you see here, I'm going to go down and I'm going to look for my device management within my phone itself. So from our general options, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and I'm looking for VPN and device management. Once I've located that on my device, I'm going to select it. And now we see my developer apps and showing my sign in ID that I use to validate my iOS agent for install. Once I'm in here, I want to select the option to trust me as a developer based off the account that I'm using. Once that's been accepted, then I should be able to launch the uh, iOS agent. If I'm using a developer account, again, I don't need to be connected to the internet. However, if I am using a free Apple ID account, then I'm going to have to make sure I've connected the device to the internet. And we're going to walk through those steps here. It says it's unable to verify the app because, again, it's not being able to reach out to iCloud and make that um, verification. So we need to connect the device to a trusted internet source. Once connected, we're able to launch the application again. Now that we have successfully launched our iOS agent on the device, we're going to accept the access request here. And now we have our options within our extractor for a full extraction or a selective extraction. Let's go ahead and take a look at what a selective extraction actually means. So I'm going to take an opportunity and zoom in here and select my selective extraction option. Now it's going to load the available applications found on the device itself, so what we can pull data from and how much data we can potentially collect on an application by application basis. And this is going to be based off device information and available applications within the device itself. Depending on how much data is available on the device will determine how long this process takes. The bigger the device, the longer it's going to take to review the, app, the available applications. 
Now we see here we have our system information applications, we have our user applications, and we can select individually what we want to collect against here. If I was to close this out, whatever I had selected would be collected against, or I can just go to my full uh, extraction option here as well. So now it's going to go ahead and calculate the size of the extractable data, and then we're going to get kind of a status update as this is going in through and collecting that data. It's going to be based off percentages, so we're going to see a total number percent of data collected until it's complete. Then we're going to move on to our hash calculation, and then once that's complete, uh, we're going to the device itself is going to reboot automatically, and the agent is going to attempt to uninstall itself. Again, this process will take a little bit of time depending on how much data it's attempting to collect on the device. So as it's calculating, it's saying, oh, this is a big phone or this is a small phone. This is how much data. So, you know, this step may take uh, a couple more seconds than, um, than each different phone that you may have plugged in. But we see here we've got 18 gigs of data that we're going to collect against, and it's moving relatively fast here. Uh, little little magic to speed this up. Now we see our hash calculation is just about finished up. Once this is complete, we're going to move to the next step and it's going to reboot the device. Once the device is rebooted, it's going to attempt to uninstall the iOS agent. And as we can see here, it was unsuccessful in doing so. That doesn't mean the extraction has failed or any issues have occurred. It just means it wasn't able to remove it from the home screen. So on the, on the device itself, long press down on the application and select that remove application option. Once it's been removed from the device, you're good to unplug the device from your system. And now we can go ahead and select our options for opening the extracted data directly into Oxygen Forensic Detective or viewing that data in its native folder that you chose to save its data to.